the idea is like we think that or many people think that it's just buying and selling now what you don't understand is that indeed it's buying and selling but you're buying and selling across borders that that explains a number of risk uh, which i Thank you very much for stopping by. You're welcome to DBA TV, where we discuss everything international trade. And with the focus, uh, with the goal rather of helping businesses in Africa and around the world to be able to navigate the, the muddy waters of international trade. Today, I'll be answering the question, um, why you think export business is complicated? In the real sense of the word, export business is really not complicated. Why you think it's complicated is because there is a lot of darkness around you as far as running the business is concerned. You know, knowledge is light. So whenever you need to do anything, what is critical for you is to acquire the necessary knowledge you need to be able to get those things done. So for example, you want to learn how to sew, you need to learn sewing and you take some weeks of sobering some months or in some cases, some years to be able to learn it. Uh, when you were in school, if you're a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer, it took a while for you to learn. So, for example, today, now, if you see a doctor diagnose, you see a lawyer in court, it, they do it effortlessly because it took a while for them to learn all they need to know about that particular field of human endeavor. What I've seen for many is to think that international trade is just trading. So it's just like I want to buy product, I go and buy from a particular part of the world and then sell it in another part of the world. So at the end of the day, it's like um, if you're in Nigeria, for example, you go to Kandu, you buy and bring it to Lagos. Or you are in uh, Ghana, you buy from Accra, you take it to Tamale. The idea is like we think that, or many people think that it's just buying and selling. Now, what you don't understand is that indeed it's buying and selling, but you're buying and selling across borders. That, that explains a number of risks, uh, which I will talk about in another video, and a number of regulations you need to deal with, a number of other nuances around you need to understand. So if you don't understand the protocol that surrounds international trade, you will think it is complicated. And indeed, international trade is knowledge intensive. So the real issue is, if you think it's complicated, it's a sign. It's just the way you think about how a doctor is able to do what they do, how a pilot is able to find the plane. It's complicated for you because you have not learned about it. Immediately you give yourself to the right knowledge, light breaks up for you. You become clear about how to go about it, and then it becomes easier for you. So don't say it is complicated. Say that you have not acquired the knowledge to be able to have a good understanding of how it works. You know, in one video, I talk about how to export. And I show you the state-by-state -state processes. And the fact that for you to even start, you need a general knowledge of, of export. When you have that knowledge and understanding, then you can go and do an export readiness assessment. By the way, you can do it on 3 global.com or 3 You visit any of those sites, you'll be able to go to the services, you see export readiness, you can fill the form and submit and you get the report. But where I'm going is this. You need to do that report, that general report, you will see the areas you have lack of understanding. Immediately you go and acquire knowledge on in those areas, maybe issues around product, maybe issue around pricing, maybe issue around paperwork, maybe issue around the people in the market, maybe issue around your proficiency in managing the business, maybe issue around the production capacity. Immediately you know where you are lacking and you go work on it, you can fix the problem. Let me give you an example. Uh, and in one of the videos, I'm going to talk about payment method. Let me talk about an example. Uh, some people do export and they have issue with payment and they get to know afterwards that they could have used a payment method like letter of credit. Now, if they have learned about payment method, they will know there is a payment method called advanced payment. There is a payment method called open account. There's a payment method called, called documentary collection or B for collection. There's a payment method called letter of credit. By having an understanding of those payment methods, they can know which of them should they consider. Now, if the buyer 
offer them any payment method that is not uh, uh, among those for most of the time they will also be able to know okay this is the risk i'm going to face and because they've learned they will now know this is what i have to do to fix the problem or to minimize and mitigate the risk you know i mean people that say ah i've bought a lot of book on export i've read different but i a seminar and i've not been able to let me tell you if you have attended seminar and training and you have not been able to it's either of two things either the curriculum is incomplete or you have not learned and, and you've not learned you've not learned enough to be able to do the business or the curriculum is incomplete that means what you were taught is not really what you need which is why i said you need a general seminar in fact which is why i said it's good you go and do an expertness assessment you should go and know what do i really need what do i need to know when you do an export readiness assessment, it gives you an idea of what you need to know. When you know what you need to know, when you're not going for any training or any seminar, or any, you now know the knowledge you need to acquire. Because if you don't do that, you will think this is what you need, and you realize that's actually not what you need. But if you don't do an export readiness like a diagnosis, if you don't do that kind of diagnosis, you will not know what you need. If you do not know what you need, how then do you implement what you need to implement? Because you don't even know what you need. So it's like you are going for training, you don't know what you need. If the person that is going to train you does not know what you need, he's going to talk generally, and then you are going to live without knowing what you need. But when you do an assessment, and you know your area you're lacking. When you're not going for training, you're not going to make an inquiry. Oh, this and this and this and this are my expectations. Will I be able to get it at this training program? If I will not be able to get it at this training program, then maybe that's not the kind of training I should attend. But let me tell you, you must attend training. You must do capacity building. You must learn. But what you must do first is to do a need assessment. What are the things I need to know? So that you don't spend time learning and only discover that you have not learned anything because all you learned are not what you need because you have not thought about do a diagnosis of yourself to know what you need before you go for a training program another thing that people talk about ah, getting buyer is difficult getting buyer is not difficult getting buyer is not difficult what makes you to think getting buyer is difficult is because you also have not learned the protocol to getting buyers. You also have not learned the protocol to getting buyer. Immediately you learn and master the protocol to getting buyer, you will discover there are 10, more than 10 different options available for you on sourcing for buyers. You discover you can actually know the country that needs your product. You discover you can actually know the the how to get the phone number, the contact number, and email of the people in the country that need your product. You can you will know exactly how to convert that contact to contract. So that means with knowledge, getting the right knowledge, where did you know how do I prepare to find buyer? Number two, how do I know country that need my product that buy my product? Number three. How do I know who the people, how do I get to know the people that import in that country? The knowledge you acquire will let you know, how do I know? Now, it's telling you how to know, how to find out. It's not, you know, some people say, I will I get list of buyer. Who told you those buyer will buy your product? Who told you they are even buying now? You should know how to find those that are buying. So you can reach as many people as possible. And there are materials. That can demonstrate to you both in manual and in video tools for this. We developed a pack last year, I mean this year, called Eureka Pack. If you go to the description box, you will see the contact detail. You can reach out to us and we'll be able to get that. But what I can tell you is that if you think export is complicated or any business whatsoever or any skill is complicated, it's just a sign. You have not learned what you need to know about it. Period. Accept that ignorance because I have accepted that ignorance is a gift. It keeps you humble to want to learn. Accept that ignorance and go and learn. By the time you finish learning, you realize it's not as difficult or as complicated as you think. I hope this video has been of help to you. If so, give us a thumbs up. If you have friends that you think we need this video, why don't you share with the friends, with your friends, for them to be able to. If you are stopping by with us for the first time, 
click on the notification, click on the uh, subscribe button. And if you know to want to know when we upload the next video, then click on the notification bell. My name is Lila Imibo, and I'm your expert doctor, and I'm signing out.